What's up? Welcome to the Almond Landscape YouTube channel. I'm going to show you our new truck. It's a 2018 3500 heavy duty Dodge Ram. This is for a stormwater slash civil division, civil construction, aside from the hardscape division. But we found this was a decent deal because here, and here's the big why. We've been running the stormwater division out of the big 4300 truck and a pickup truck. And this is what the pickup truck looks like. Britt and I ran a couple stormwater jobs ourselves. And if you don't know what stormwater work is, uh, look back on our YouTube channel here a little farther. We did some catch basin repairs, the drains you see in parking lots, that kind of stuff. Generally, it's an hour and a half plus two hours, give or take out of town, every one we do. And the pickup trucks get packed like this or a big 4300 truck, international 4300 truck. Um, it's so tall, we use it as a dump truck. That's really its main priority. But we need to get all this crap packed into a different vehicle and so that we have quicker access to saws and lasers and traffic cones. And then we gotta put 20 foot sticks of rebar on here somewhere and um, you know traffic cones, compactors, you name it. And so a service body truck like this is really gonna be nice when, um, I mean, it does a lot of things here but we can unlock this dude here and get it set up really really nice i mean look at look at this this is so cool first aid um you know constantly you know first thing somebody's gonna have to do when they get on site is unlock all the boxes but that's cool but i mean we got all our concrete oh that is so cool man that's sweet um this box here well this one was busted when we bought it we'll have to just goof with that we open this one up there's a huge tray up here so we can put form spikes and all sorts of super cool stuff in here and then also um yeah so i'm guessing saws are gonna get put in there there's just uh just a ton of opportunity here to put lots of stuff in here i'd like to actually see these fuel tanks just right inside here ideally we got to figure out a better shovel rack somebody just mentioned on instagram putting u-bolts in there but i'd like to see them at an angle or something so we'll have to work that out if you get any good ideas for shovel racks that are prettier and less not as ugly as that just let me know the uh you know we've just got tons of room for stuff just this is just great i absolutely love it so uh ser service body is totally the way to go with uh, you know this guy if you run an irrigation service business although i would consider one of those big sprinter vans myself uh for something like that but so we got room to put saws and and all that kind of stuff this truck will be labeled under the envi almond environmental division which is cool so uh but on a label on the outside of this one it'll say we'll, we will have like first aid on the outside of this one and we'll need to um uh, mount a fire extinguisher on the outside of this so and we got it locked up here but a nice truck got the big uh 6.4 hemi in it which is cool i've really begun become a fan of the the hemi engines um of late i think it's the, probably the next best thing to the chevy i'm sorry to the chevy to the diesels, uh, you know, the Cummins and Duramaxes and all that junk. This was a fleet truck of a mining company or construction business or somebody. I don't know um, what exactly, but uh, there was a CB radio in here and some other crap. But we, we oh, geez, we need new wipers. Look at that wiper over there. Just noticed that. But uh, it's a nice truck, lots of room. We got room back here for, I don't know why we've got winter coats back here. I don't know why that's back here. That, we're not hauling around winter coats, but whatever. Um, I don't know what that's about, but the truck rides and drives nice. I took it on a test drive and, uh, and that was it. So, but you know, a truck is a, a thing about efficiency and we're, and we really don't want pickup trucks as work vehicles, right? We want, uh, we want trucks that are functional. Uh, pickup trucks have their place, we want to have trucks that are functional and make sense so like for the hardscape truck we really want this kind of storage on it but what we'll probably have is a dump body of some sort and then a, a backpack toolbox is an absolute must with uh with a bunch of belly boxes on it too so we can have everything on that truck that we need to perform hardscape work so that's the way mr bow's truck is currently outfitted and it's uh it's pretty darn nice so uh the truck drives real nice 45,000 miles on it uh, we gave 36000 for it it's for all the questions we're going to get. So when we took it on test drive, we uh, drove it, accelerated hard on it, make sure it shifts clean and smooth, uh, stomp on the brakes, make sure it's, it stops and goes straight when you stop. Um, because if it doesn't, that's all just negotiating points, right, on the, our part, 
negotiating points on price. The truck checked out really well. And for a truck with 45,000 miles on it, I would sure hope. Now, I did look at a pickup truck for personal use earlier in the year with like, I think the same mileage and the same year as a Ford, but it had been just ragged to death and beat to death. So uh, those are those are a couple of the quick things we look at, you know, salt and rust damage. And, and the older the truck is and the higher the mileage, the more you have to be willing to put up with, right, for the price, depending. So uh, I just want to run this thing down the road, see how it rides. It rides like a one ton, but really doesn't ride bad for a one ton either. It rides pretty smooth. Uh, gear selector isn't all sloppy. That's a big deal. Um, and we got a couple extra nice perks with it here is power windows, which is absurd. And although Mr. Bo's truck has it, uh, the F-250 we had as a stormwater truck uh, did not have the power windows and stuff. So this is kind of a, a night, man, even the windows, even the mirrors are heated. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, nice truck, very happy with it. And uh, I think it's gonna serve us great for a lot of that out of town stormwater work that we do when uh, we can have everything riding into bed with us. We're gonna talk a lot about trucks and equipment. Got a lot of equipment videos coming out. Been renting a lot of different machinery for different jobs. Cat 304s, 306s. I'll have a 313 on a job here coming up in September. Yeah, this is a good step for the company uh, to get out of a, a pickup truck for the stormwater and, and civil division that we're not loading and unloading stuff every day. So the, the shop load and load time is killer. Again, in the comments, if you can, uh, let us know what you've seen that works well for you know shovel racks, be it pipes or uh, custom made stuff or whatever. And somebody even mentioned putting a false deck in this thing, so putting up, making a like a drawer, or you can buy them too for these trucks that you would get on. Another thing we're going to uh, outfit this truck with is a short step ladder, like you see the welders have on their on their truck, so you can step up in the in the truck more efficiently and, and quickly. That sounds silly, and a lot of that stuff people think is silly, but it really adds a quicker layer of efficiency. So you're not climbing up in the truck, you're just stepping up into it. So um, I'm all about stuff like that, and so um, we're gonna we're gonna outfit this rig really nice, and just like Bo's next the next truck for Mr. Bo, uh, his truck is outfitted really nice. Just his truck is old; it's an 08. So we're gonna outfit it. We just found this one first, and uh, so we'll we'll see how that goes. So. With that being said, the only thing we don't have is a backup camera. We're kind of spoiled when it comes to that stuff, but that's okay. You know, you, you've got to buy the best. People ask, why haven't we, why didn't we buy a matching, why don't we buy a matching fleet? And it's like, I, I don't know if folks think we're just made of money or whatever, but we're buying the best stuff we can afford at the time, which has been my mantra for a long time. Um, I can't afford to just only hunt Chevy trucks or only find Dodge trucks. Like we're just not at that level right now. Um, in a couple, three years, we'll probably get to the point where we can begin to fleet uh, purchase vehicles where we're always upgrading new and similar make trucks. So a, a comment somebody made or a point someone made was like, well, all your stuff, you know, everybody's familiar with the Dodges and they know where the fire extinguisher is always at in a Dodge. And, you know, and, and there, there's something to be said for that. And we do need to get a fire extinguisher in here and some other stuff, make sure it's in. Maybe John didn't put it in here yet, I don't know. But uh, I'm real happy with this purchase. So far anyways, it dry, it's going to an out of town job starting all next week. Uh, so we'll be running it four hours a day to and from. So we'll know, we'll really get its good break in period there and know. So with that being said, it's actually my first vehicle with these goofy keys. I don't, I tell you one thing is I don't like these at all. I, I don't like that style of key at all, but I'm old fashioned maybe. So that being said, um, there we got, this is one thing I like seeing in there already. We got some sunscreen in there because we need to take care of our skin. That's good. Some people think it's pretty sissy or ninny, but um, as a guy that's constantly having uh, precancerous stuff burn off his face, I'm a huge advocate for taking care of your skin. So, uh, yeah, good looking truck. Really like it. It's going to really help dress up the fleet and look really sharp. And most importantly, it's going to help reduce us doing this kind of crap, running to and from jobs uh, on the stormwater. Because again, Previously, he was running that out of an F-250 pickup truck, long bed, with a gang box in it, and then all this crap piled in. That's not okay. That's inefficient, because you're digging. Anytime you're digging, like Andy Mulder says, you know, anytime you're digging or looking for something, you're wasting time, when you shouldn't be able to just go right to the truck, pick it up, and get it, and you're right back to work. So, I'm all about that stuff. Uh, folks, thanks. Have a good one, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We actually stopped sponsoring ads these last couple months because it just got so crazy. We turned it into a monster. <laughs> it, it just it doesn't stop. The Instagram doesn't stop. Every day I have a DM saying, 
you know, come check out my house. Huh. So it's gotten to the 